I'm Steph, I'm the secret slob, and welcome to my channel where I am learning to overcome my crazy, messy, slobby ways using mostly the fly lady system. Today I'm gonna start phase three of my massive habit changing overhaul. So I did 21 days of refreshing and refining my routines using the baby steps. And then I spent 21 days on a massive decluttering project, just going through every room in my house, every nook, every cranny, and getting rid of the stuff I didn't need. And so now it's time to move on. I have my routines in place, my house is decluttered, I'm ready to start zone cleaning. So this is the part where we actually clean our house. So zone cleaning. I have attempted to start zone cleaning probably at least 10 times in the last year. And it just always failed. I just wouldn't keep up with it. And I think I know why. Every time I was trying to take on my routines, my decluttering and the zone cleaning all at the same time, basically change my entire way of doing things in one day. And that's about how long it lasted one day. So if you have tried this before or you think you might be like me where you often take on a little too much and can't really stick with things, trust me, go back to the beginning, start with the routines, refine them, refresh them, get them down. That is going to make a huge difference in your life and it will get you into the habit of doing something little every day. Second, Declutter your house. Fly Lady says it and it's so true. You cannot clean clutter. It's frustrating. It's nearly impossible. So if you have to declutter your house, definitely get your routines down, do some decluttering, and then start with zones. But hey, if you're an ambitious person and you think you can get it all done, go for it. Just because I failed, maybe you won't. But don't get down on yourself if it feels like a lot because it is a lot. It took me a whole year to change everything and you know, it didn't happen overnight. I wanted it to happen overnight and it didn't. So when I finally committed to little by little, it finally worked. So that's my advice. I hope that helps. So zone cleaning. In a nutshell, zone cleaning is dividing your house into five areas called zones and each week focusing on a different area for just a short amount of time, but really getting in and doing some deep cleaning in that area. Just one week one zone and she's made it super easy. There is on the Fly Lady website these awesome printables where it's basically a detailed cleaning list of each zone. I highly recommend going to the Fly Lady website and printing off the detailed cleaning list. It might not all apply for your house but at least it'll give you an idea or some ideas of things that we're doing. What you're gonna do is in the time that you have allotted for your zone cleaning that week, I've decided to allot one hour per zone per week that's it. Um, you'll work through your detailed cleaning list for that zone. If you don't get to the end, don't worry about it. You'll hit it the next day or the next time it comes around. Remember, this is deep cleaning. Not everything has to be done every single month. So because today's Monday, all I wanted to do today was get my lists ready. I don't want to use my zone cleaning time tomorrow getting my lists ready. If you have a minute and hopefully if you have a printer, print this, these detailed cleaning lists off. And if you don't have a printer, hey, just copy them right off the internet like I did. I put little check boxes because, you know, checking things off feels great. Once you have all of your lists printed off or written out or whatever it is, you know, printing them is going to be super fast and easy. So if you don't have a lot of time, just do that. Make them pretty later. You're going to put them right into your control journal. And so I just tuck mine in right there, right behind my daily routine sheets, and that's where they are. But if you wanted to make a separate section for your zone cleaning, hey, fly at it. It's your control journal. Make it how you want it. So that's all I have is my routines and my zone cleaning right after, and I, tell, and I totally recommend using these plastic sheets so that you can just reuse the same paper over and over again. Super simple. Um, if you don't have those, you can always honestly just put a check mark on a paper and fill it up with check marks and print off a new one again, I don't know, a year from now. So there's your new uh, little addition to your control journal. I've decided that mine is kind of, you know, plain. I think I'll decorate it. 
but maybe we'll do that on another video. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start working through that tomorrow. So today is Monday, weekly home blessing hour, no zone cleaning. And tomorrow I'm getting started with zone one. So if you have been following along with me on this journey and you've got your routines down and you've done your decluttering, I hope you will join me tomorrow for zone one. If this isn't the beginning of the month for you, hey, you can jump in wherever the fly lady is, or you can just jump in with me and start zone one. Just 15 minutes a day, we're gonna work on it every single day. And it's gonna feel so great. I hope you join me. I hope you've found success so far with this program like I have. And please don't feel intimidated. Just jump in where you are, do a little bit, even if it's only five minutes or 10 minutes a day, you can make a huge difference in just a short amount of time. And you'll see little by little, huge changes will happen in your house and in your life. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow when we start our zone cleaning. Bye.